Hey everybody, welcome back to the VMP Performance Channel. I'm Justin, and in front of me on the table, I have intercooler cores. In particular, these are for the 07 to 14 Shelby GT500 application. On my left here, we have the stock intercooler core, last featured in the 13, 14 Shelby GT500. Even from back in 07, the intercooler core was pretty much the same. And on my right here, I have our VMP upgrade for the 07 to 14 Shelby GT500. This stock intercooler core has worked really well considering it's a factory part. People have pushed it extremely hard. Uh, one of the popular modifications was to enlarge these water fittings on the front and get the unit to flow more water and get increased cooling that way. Our upgraded core is actually pretty simple. We were able to fit in another row. We took the core from being 11 centimeters wide to 12 centimeters wide. We got an extra flow tube in there, an extra set of fins for a reduced air side restriction, and we made the ports larger right out of the box. This core saw great gains on the dyno. On a thousand rear wheel horsepower car, it picked up around 40 rear wheel horsepower. Sometimes the factory just gets it really, really right and minor incremental improvements are the best. What we discovered is that the bar and plate design, the density of the bars, how many there are and the space between them for the fins is pretty darn good from the factory. If you put too many bars in here, you run the risk of the core being too restrictive. Now, this core is a very thick core. It's 120 millimeters thick. That's much thicker than anything we're dealing with on, say, the new Shelby GT500. So it's really important to get the fin density right to have both the heat rejection and the flow potential. I really don't feel that quoting a CFM number does an intercooler core justice. Its job is to pull the heat out of the air, and if it flows too freely, it can't do that job. I just talked a lot about airflow. We also wanted to address water flow with our intercooler core upgrade. The amount of water that you can get through the core is ultimately going to determine how much heat it can pull out of the air. We wanted this core to be a high performance stock replacement because just given the age of these cars, the factory cores are failing, leaking. If you accidentally had water in the system and you're up north where it freezes in the winter, you may have exploded one. So we have made this core upgrade very flexible. We make these size change tubes here that allow you to install this core with the stock water manifold. So you can do just the internal upgrades if you're forced to because you've got to upgrade a failing piece and you can do the high flow VMP water manifold later on. So on one side of the size change tube, this is the factory transfer tube and O-ring size. As you can see, it fits in right here. On the other side is the VMP tube, which measures about 1.15 inches, and it fits into our core here. You might already see where I'm going here. These are the VMP high flow water manifolds for 07 to 14 Shelby GT500. We have the one inch version, we have the three quarter inch version. If you don't want to upgrade your intercooler core just yet, you can certainly use these with the stock intercooler core using our size change tube flipped over the other way. And of course, if you are going ahead and upgrading the intercooler core and the water manifold at the same time, you use the larger tube, and of course this gives you the full benefit of increased water flow and of the new larger intercooler core with the larger water ports. Some people just don't need a full one inch line set in their vehicle. Three quarter inch actually works really well, especially if you have an upgraded intercooler pump. It'll flow eight to 10 gallons per minute, and it, it'll do a lot of work. The way we designed our intercooler core, it natively takes these larger, transfer tubes, so you do not have the tiny, restrictive, half-inch factory transfer tubes. So e even with a three-quarter inch line system, you're still going to be getting a flow improvement. For those that do want all-out performance, one-inch lines may very well be the answer for you. We do offer one-inch fitting heat exchangers. Use something like an EMP pump, you'll get 15 gallons per minute 
through the entire system, even a little bit more depending on how you have it set up. I'm gonna go ahead and install one of these cores in the manifold so I can show you how it bolts up to the front. So you can see this is the stock core. There's quite a bit of space in here. Ford left us lots of room to upgrade things. You can see this is our core. One of the things that you do have to use as an Allen head bolt, since the core is so wide, the factory flange head bolts will no longer fit. Also, the factory rails that help hold the intercooler core down are no longer needed and should be discarded. Make sure you use Loctite when you put these bolts in. You do not want to ever have these come out. So now that we've got this core installed, I can show you how the high flow water manifold goes on the front. Now, if you're running a turbo kit or a really large supercharger that say uses three inch or larger pulleys, then you're not really gonna be worried about belt wrap. However, if you are running a smaller displacement supercharger, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have good belt wrap. So we offer this right here with the kit that is a fully adjustable idler arm. One of the things about using three quarter inch lines, if you don't need the one inch lines, the three quarter inch lines are gonna be much easier to route and they're gonna be much cleaner in the engine bay. And I wanna show you how this intercooler core takes up the entire opening on the manifold and takes full advantage surface area wise of the space between the casting here. The factory intercooler core actually has a little bit of the flange on the bracket showing, this has none whatsoever. What a lot of people will do when they port these is they'll open up this hole outside another 16th of an inch just to give you full exposure. But the big thing that gets done is this back. The first thing you can do is cut this wall back just a little bit and radius it and air can kind of sneak under here. The Second thing you can do is weld a ramp in here and get a bunch of exposure. And the third thing you can do is just weld these holes up and fully cut this area out. So the only thing about cutting this area out, you will get higher cruising IATs because the bypass valve recirculated air is not being forced through the intercooler core. That's what this does from the factory. It forces the air through the core and you get lower IETs at idle and while cruising. Well, there you have it. That is our high performance stock replacement street intercooler upgrade for 07 to 14 Shelby GT500. By the way, it also fits Roush applications. You just need the shorter transfer tubes. We'll save that for another video. If you're interested in more information, check out the links below. We're also gonna do an install on a car and a flow test later on. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you next time.